Hey everybody, it's your boy Brickhouse here on a Monday. And the big the big movie, or I should say the big box office smash of the weekend was supposed to be The Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, starring Rachel Zegler. Well, unfortunately for the Hunger Games, this turned out to be the lowest box office opening of any of the Hunger Games movies. In fact, this movie didn't even beat the Marvel's opening weekend. So here you have a couple of articles here. First one's from Bounding Into Comics. Rachel Ziegler's Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes brought had a lower take at the box office and its Thursday night previews compared to Brie Larson's The Marvels. Yeah, that's right. The Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes only grossed $5.75 million in its preview Thursday, whereas uh, the Marvels did 6.6. So as bad as the Marvels is, the Hunger Games even worse. Now, the second part of this, the fact that the Hunger Games prequel opened to $44 million. Keep in mind, the Marvels opened to $40.1. And as uh, The Hollywood Reporter puts it, Lion Lionsgate's prequel to Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, opened to $44 million at the box office, easy enough to win the weekend, but coming in behind expectations. As a lot of movies have this year. Up for a handful. The event pick has plenty of time to make up ground after over Thanksgiving week, one of the most lucrative quarters of the year at the box office. Tracking suggested the movie would devour at least 50 million in ticket sales. Lionsgate goes about the trying to create an off franchise. Keep in mind, this movie is a pre. Studio remained hopeful on Saturday morning that the pick would come in on the higher end of 45 million. Million range, but traffic slipped more than expected on Saturday. So, here's the deal you've got a movie that is a prequel to a very successful trilogy that stars somebody that people don't like, mostly because of what she did with Snow White and her thoughts on Snow White. And her interviews were just weird, weird, weird. So if you look at the weekend, yeah, Hunger Games ended up number one at the box office. $44 million domestic. Again, the Marvels did 46.1. Now, here's the difference between the Hunger Games and the Marvels. The Marvel's budget, if you believe the mainstream media, the budget was 200 to 220 million. Wrong. The budget's more like 300 to 350 when you factor in all the post production work and the reshoots that had to be done for that. Not to mention, in fact, the promotion, marketing, the advertising. Whereas the Hunger Games, the released budget for this movie, $100 million. So it doesn't have to do as well at the box office to make money for Lionsgate as, say, the Marvels has to do for Disney to make money at the box office because of its budget. Now, honestly, I'm probably in the minority here, but I haven't really seen any of the Hunger Games. Not really high on my list. I don't plan on seeing this one, but I just wanted to throw this out here for you folks because the spin is, is that this movie is going to take in less at the box office of the Marvels, but it's going to be a success. Well, that's only because its budget is about $200 million. So I'll leave it up to you, the audience. Um, have you seen the new Hunger Games? movie 
Um, you did. What'd you think of it? If you haven't seen it yet. Do you plan on seeing it? Leave your comment in the comment section down below. While you're at it, please time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video that I upload on YouTube. Uh, share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you later.